Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I truly hope, brethren, that this song will be an encouragement to us all. You know, as we go through and navigate the different seasons that is affecting each and every one of us, you know, that God will really bring us comfort and strength. That we'll recognize it is the same God in the good times and in the bad and to just trust his hand as he carries us through. Amen. Praise the Lord. I pray this song will strengthen you. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain and you've got peace of mind like you never know. Then things change when you're down in the valley. Don't lose faith, for you never know. For the God on the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go wrong, He'll make it right. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain. You've got peace of mind like you've never known. But things change when you're down in the valley. Don't lose faith, for you're never alone. For the God on the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go wrong, He'll make them right. Talk of faith when you're up on the mountain, but talk comes so easy when life's at its best, but it's down in the valley of trials and temptation. That's when your faith is really put to the test. But the God on the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go wrong, He'll make them right. Oh, 
God in the ground. I'll do that verse one more time, brethren. You talk of faith when you're up on the mountain. But talk comes so easy when life's at its best. But it's down in the valley of trials and temptation. That's when your faith is really put to the test. But be encouraged, brethren, the God of the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go wrong, he'll make them right. And the God of the good time is still God in the bad times. The God of the day is still God in the Yes, the God on the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go wrong, He'll make them right. And the God of the good times is still God in the bad times. Is still God in the night. The God of the day is still God in the night. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Sister Keisha Gay and Deacon Jones for that wonderful encouragement. The God of the mountain is still God in the valley. God of the day is still God of the night. And the God of the good times is the same God of the bad times. He never changed. And whatever season comes around, he's always there for us. The scripture says you know, that we must take up our cross and follow him. And sometimes things are really going to get rough, but God will never leave us. And I just want to encourage each and every one of us tonight that God is able. He's God for everything, for every season, for every problem, for every situation. Praise the Lord. And I just want to now welcome our visitors tonight. You know, and I pray that um, if you are not saved, that you will truly think you know, and, and come under the umbrella of God, that he can really charter your life and carry you through. Hallelujah. You don't have to be out there on your own, but he goes before and he carries and he delivers and he counsels and he saves most of all. Save you, give you eternal life deliver you from sin and death. This is the God we are talking about and we are serving and we are worshiping and we are glorifying tonight. The God who is able to deliver, keep and save. Just want to encourage everyone. I want to en encourage Deacon Brown, Anthony Brown. I want to encourage Rafik. You know, I want to encourage Sister Anika. Hallelujah. Yes, I just want to encourage you all tonight. Pastor Jody, myself, everybody that God is able. We just want to thank him for all that he has done to us and for us so far. All the prayers that have gone up, his presence and his anointing and his power that he has made available to us tonight. Praise the Lord, brethren. Praise the Lord. 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 Yes, I now present to you our evangelist, Garwin Price, as he come forward with whatever God laid on his heart for, to tell us tonight. And we pray that we'll receive it, open our hearts and our minds and let the word sink and take root that we can truly bear fruit and live 
That's how God would want us to live. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Bridget. Um, I greet you in the matchless, wonderful, precious, and loving name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, I want to thank Sister Michelle Picard for leading the service thus far. I want to greet our pastor and his family, our deacon and his family. Visitors and, and brethren, I greet you in the name of Jesus. And I pray that the Spirit of God will just truly just take control uh, with this very short message that I have um, for us tonight. Um, before I start, I just want to thank God for the testimonies. You know, it's it it's it's encouraging when we have brethren who are willing or are able to give God glory, even before the deliverance comes. There is something about it that is encouraging because it, it, it means to us that if we are going through a situation, you know, truly God doesn't forsake us. Um, truly we can still put our faith and our hope and our trust in God because we have seen brethren who while they are going through still rejoiced in God. And so it's encouraging when I hear, you know, um, Rafiq and Jody and people like Sister Norma and Pastor give their testimonies and others to that that uh, about what God is doing for them, even though they aren't fully out of the woods yet, you know. So I, I give God thanks for that, and I pray that you know, as we've said, you know, when we go to our situations, these testimonies will wrap back in our minds, and you know, they will be good examples for us as believers that, you know, this Amen. is how we, how we got through, you know, this, I, I see how Jody went through when she was going through her thing and she got the victory. So same thing for us. Praise the Lord. I, I don't Praise plan to be long. I don't plan to be long, Bridget. Praise the Lord. Um, I, I, as a matter of fact, I'm going to just expand on one of the concepts, um, one of the thoughts that was presented in the message yesterday. Just want to expand on it a little bit more. I pray that it'll be a blessing nonetheless. Um, I'm going to ask us to turn our scriptures to Hebrews chapter 2. I'm going to read two passages of scriptures, Hebrews chapter 2, reading from verse 17 to 18, and then chapter 4, reading from verse 14 to 16. Hebrews chapter 2, reading from verse 17 to 18. I'll read. Wherefore, in all things it behoved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for, their, for the sins of the people. For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. And then Hebrews chapter 4, 14. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Praise the Lord. You know, as I said yesterday, if God were to to, to try to explain to us the reason why he allows certain things to happen to us, I perceive that he really just couldn't. As in, we couldn't, we, we, we just wouldn't really understand. As scripture says, his thoughts are higher than our thoughts and his ways are higher than our ways. It, it, 
when God considers and orchestrates our life, he's thinking about so much. He's considering so much that I don't think he could bring it down to our level to fully comprehend some of these things. And even if he could, it, it, it wouldn't be proper for us to try to understand some things, I believe. You know, when, when, I, when I think of Job and that last two passages, that last two chapter when God stands before Job, Job is there saying, Lord, come let us, come, um, I, 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 I want to, 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 to have a hearing with you because things not working out and, you know, I want to know what's happening. And then God comes before Job and basically explains to himself, Job, were you there when I did this, when I created this, when, when, when this was formed? Do you understand this thing? Do you understand this aspect of, of, of the universe? Because what, what, what he wanted Job to understand is that, Job, this thing, the whole complex situation, it, it's more than, than you, Job. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than, it's bigger than your understanding. I mean, I would even go as far as to think that even just the fact that Satan came to, 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 to God, even it wasn't just that why God allowed it to happen. There was more that God that was in play when God allowed it to happen. So, so if God were to try to explain everything to us, we, he couldn't. He couldn't. But the thing about it is, even though he can't explain it all to us, our God does not want to be distant, though. He doesn't want to be like, okay, well, you know, I am higher than you, so therefore, you know, you keep a distance. He wants to be a God near. He wants to be a God personal. I, I, I use the analogy of a two-year-old. There are some things that you can't explain to a two-year-old. There are things that they would endure, that they would go through, that you, that why you just have to just tell them, you know, some parents have a, have a way of making up lie because they, can't, because they can't think of a good enough story to explain to the child. Because their minds are just so small to, to, to be able to understand it. But that doesn't mean that the parent doesn't love the two-year-old, that the, the, the parent doesn't, isn't there for the two-year-old. The parent wants the two-year-old to know that they love them and they're, that they're there for them. And so what did God do in an act of demonstration to mankind, to every single one of us, to make us understand that while you won't understand everything that is happening from from Genesis, from Adam and Eve coming down to the end, you won't understand all of it. But yet, I want you to know that I'm trustworthy, that I'm there for you. What did God do? The scripture says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He expressed his love to us by sending his son to die for us. But think about it for a while, though. Did he just send Jesus to die for us? Did Jesus come as a man and just went on the cross and died? No, he, he came as a baby. He grew up as a man. He endured the life and the challenges that we endured. For God, it wasn't, it wasn't sufficient to just understand our challenges and our pain from a distance. God decided that, you know what? I want to be so personal with these people. I want to be so close to them that I want to feel it for myself. I want to endure for myself. I want to, I want to, 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 to not just know how pain work, how suffering work. I want to go through it for myself. In chapter 2, verse, verse 17, it says this. Wherefore, in all things, it behoved him 
to be made like unto the brethren, that he might be merciful, a merciful and faithful high priest, making rec priest in things pertaining to God, to make rec reconciliation for our sins. For in that he himself had suffered and had te being tempted. The word there, behold, I looked it up. It means to make an obligation. Our father made it an obligation for us to, 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 to feel what we feel. He made it his obligation to, 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 to feel pain. He knows how hunger feels. Jesus endured hunger. He knows how loss feels. Him know, him understand rejection. Him understand uh, uh, um, when, when, when we don't feel, when we feel like all is, is going wrong. He understands that. Him, him, him grow up as a young man, he must lick him, buck him toe two times too, or broke him hand two times too. He understands what we go through. He, he, he made it his personal duty to ensure that he was tempted like we, that he went through the same thing like we, because he wanted to be, to, 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 to be able to say, I understand my child. He never needs to do that. I we, do we think that he needed to, to go through this to, to understand he's the sovereign God. He understands all things. He, 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 he was perfect. He, he is perfect understanding, perfect knowledge before he came. But he didn't want to just know. He wanted to endure it himself. He wanted to feel our pain. Verse, verse, verse 15 says, verse 15 of chapter 4 says, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. That's not our God. If you want to know one difference between our God and other gods out there, our God is so desiring to be so personal with us that he came to the earth as a man. He, 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 he endured the same problems that we endure, the same challenges, he endured it so that he know for a fact how it go. So that as our high priest, he, he, he can represent us. Amen. He was there with us, Bridget. And so, and so it, it, there's a sense of encouragement that we should have. Because it means that, that my Jesus knows. He knows. He know the pain. He know he 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 knows the suffering. He knows the, the feeling of rejection. He knows the feeling of sorrow. A scripture says, "A man of sorrow, acquainted with grief." God ensured that that him him make him born in poverty, so him know how poverty feel. Him 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 him, him, him make him born. In, 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 in trouble, in, 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 in a rough time. So you know how all of these things feel. Bridget, if he was made like unto us so that he could endure the same things that we endure. That's the God we serve. And so Bridget, I just want to encourage us to trust him because it's not that he doesn't understand. It's not that he, 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 he doesn't care. It's, it's not anything like that. He so much wants to know, wants to know that he understands that he came to the earth to be like one of us so that we can see him as an example and know that yes, Jesus knows. I give God thanks for it. And so I just put that into your mind, Bridget, that, you know, he became like one of us. He endured all the things that we endured, pain and the suffering, the problems, so that he can be personal. You can trust him, Bridget. It says in verse 16, 
Let us therefore, because we have such a wonderful high priest, because we have such a wonderful example, let us therefore come boldly unto him. Him understand, he understands. So we can come boldly to the throne of grace and obtain mercy and find help in times of need. That's the God we serve. Praise the Lord. I give God thanks for this. I pray that that, will just, that thought will just linger in your mind as you pray and as you seek God going forward, Bridget. Mm -hmm. These are my few words to you in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Praise, Praise, the Lord. The Lord. Praise 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 God. I want to thank the Lord again for reminding us again through his words today, through his servant, Evangelist Price, that he understands everything that we're going through. As he says, he knows poverty, he knows how poverty feels, he knows how a rough time feels. He was born, you know, he took on flesh, amen. So he went through it. So he is there for us physically, and spiritually. So the situation is more than us. Virgin for real, sometimes we don't really understand. And sometimes we get anxious, you know, and sometimes we question why, but we don't understand. Sometimes it's, it's not that it's not punished God punishing us, you know. It's just the way God works in things. And, and that is why the stories are there with Job. And so that's, we know that there are times, these times are going to come. But God never changed. He says the protection of his child and treasure is the charge that on himself he laid. He is responsible for us. We are not on our own. Hallelujah. He is responsible for us. And as Brother Gowan says, he wants to be near and he wants to be personal. We have to just um, take our road with confidence. Amen. Our own little walk, our own little road. And, and meet God and wrestle with him like Jacob. Hallelujah. Power with man and power with God. You get power to pray and power to believe. Your faith lifted and your trust if it says a higher plane than I have found. Hallelujah. Lord plant. Hallelujah. My feet. Hallelujah. And higher ground. Praise the Lord. I just want to thank God tonight for encouraging us tonight again. You know, he, 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 he's trustworthy. And as Brother God said, he is there for us. He's there for us individually and collectively. He's there for you, Sister Jackie. He's there for you, Sister Jody. He's there for your brother Rafiq. He's there for your um, sister Melissa, our visitor. He's there for all of us. Hallelujah. And he's faithful to his word. And he will come through. And whatever need we need, he will supply. And if it's just to go through it, he might go give us the strength to go through it. That's the God we serve. Awesome God. Amen. Faithful God. Faithful Amen. God. You know, say we have an high priest that with, with, for we have not an eye priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted as we are yet without sin. He knows everything. He knows everything. His mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness towards us. Let us have hope. Raise our hope. Father, raise our hope in you. Raise our faith in thee so that we can truly please you. You know, brethren, you know, it is a, it's a great, it's a big thing to please the Lord when we are going through our trials. When we're up on the mountain and we're down in the valley, Amen. when we're going through the night, hallelujah, we must think about him same way. We must love him same way. We must Amen. trust him same way. Amen. We must praise him same way. We must live for him same way. We must talk about him good same way because he is the one who's keeping us. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be around. So we want to thank God, the God of the valley, the God of the mountain, the God of the day and the God of the night. Whatever season comes around, it is his will to choose and to do as he may. We are his 
people and the sheep of his father. He glorifies himself in us. Hallelujah. And however he chooses to glorify himself, that's how he chooses to do it. So let us just settle, brethren, in Zion. You know, be still, as the scripture said, and know that I am God. He is able and he's going to bring us through. I just want to thank him tonight and I pray that, and that as we go through this month of prayer that we truly seek God and ask him to give us the wisdom and the understanding of his will in our lives as he works out thing, things for us. Let us just glorify him and see the victory in St. Moses. Stand still and see, hallelujah, the salvation of the Lord. Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down but God remains the same and he is gonna bring us through. I'm encouraged tonight, yes, by these words as we're all going through, but our God, hallelujah, is more than able and willing and just and true to stay true to his word and will never leave us nor forsake us. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the Lord.